Hey everyone, this is Eric. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to show you guys how I made a three-point harness to keep my dog in the sand rail when we go sand railing. Now I'm going to start with the things that I purchased to make this all happen. Um, I already had a five-point harness seat in my sand rail and it uses anchors um, and they're already anchored in. So my sand rail has these little anchors uh, welded into the frame. There's actually one on this side, two in the middle for both sides, and then one on the other side of my dog. Um, and then in the back, my harness is just bolted in to uh, actually my frame right here. So what I did was I went to PetSmart, I picked up one of these harnesses. So it's a Kurgo um, harness. It's a uh, it's pretty well made. I, uh, I was able to put my hands on it in the store, pull it out, put it on my on my animal, and just figure out that this is the one I wanted to go with. Um, second, I picked up six of these 350-pound uh, rated um, climbing anchors. I think they're fasteners or anchors. I'm not sure what they're called. I picked up six of these at Ace Hardware, and I picked up some 330 or 350-pound um, paracord. So with, with, with the fasteners, the six fasteners, and the paracord, I think it ran me around um, 23 or $24. And then the harness was um, $29, and it's a really good harness. So I got the dog, she's already in and fastened in, and she just actually wants out. She doesn't know why we're sitting still, so just kinda wanted to show her off real quick with the rec, rec specs. You're being a good girl, I'll take them off. She doesn't like them on when she's not moving, so I'll take them off for her. There you go. Good girl. So now she's moving around. All right. So I was gonna go with um, I was gonna go with uh, six anchors. I was gonna actually utilize one of these rears, and I might in the in the future. But I went ahead and and just went with the two sides. Now, what I did was I took some paracord. I knotted to a couple of the fasteners, as you can see here. It's straight in the anchor. It's not going, or it's straight in the anchor of the frame. It's not going anywhere. And I just connect to this, this, this Kurgo harness right here, as you can see. Um, same with the other side. The only difference is, is the harness. Can you see it in there? Yeah, you can. So you see it's anchored in right there. I'm just run around the other side. Good girl, you're being a good girl. Yes, you are. Right there. And then the Kurgo actually came with this fastener right here. You're being a good girl. Yes, you are. You're being a pretty girl. You're being a good girl. Yes, you are. Um, so this will this will keep her from moving backwards. Let me just kind of show you. Ari, it's okay. I push her back. She's not going anywhere. If I push her to the side, she's not going anywhere. If I pull her this way, she just she can't go anywhere. She literally can't go anywhere. She can't even go up. As far as, she can, as far as she can go. So the only thing I'm worried about right now, good girl, good girl, good girl, is this bar right here. Um, if I slam into something, I don't think there's anything keeping her head from hitting this bar. So I'm gonna address that. I'm gonna either um, cover it with, with some foam or figure out how to anchor in, this is actually loose right here, I need to tighten this down. Um, anchor in this back point to back here, through here to the anchor back there just to keep her from um, moving forward because we don't want to hit the bar um, I'm not going to be doing any crazy off-road stuff I'm just going to be doing some climbing up some up some hills up and down some hills and uh, so I don't really have to worry about running into anything at all but you know just to let me just, get this off here. just to be on the safe side you're being a good girl good girl Girl, let's get the last one off, okay? You're a good girl. Free. Free, go. Go. Up. Good girl. All right, so that's what... Sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, so that's what they look like. I mean, I can move my whole fucking... Excuse my language. Move my whole sand rail with, the, with this paracord. So that's what I'm doing to keep her in. I think uh, for the most part she's safe right now. 
Um, however, adding another point to the back right here would probably be the best. Um, so anyways, hope you guys have a good day. Have um, some safe off-roading. Make sure you use the proper safety equipment. You get inside and have a great day.